Hello, how's it going everyone? My name is Tom the Mystic and welcome to episode 3 of my Dying Light Play About. Now I've changed the name of the series to a Play About just to emphasise the fact that this is not going to be a start to finish, do every mission as quick as I possibly can type of gameplay. This is where I want to record myself playing with friends, running around the world, finding what I can, doing what I can, crafting weapons and killing zombies, instead of following every order of this annoying kid Raheem, like I did with Watch Dogs. Well, not with Raheem and Watch Dogs, with some other boss guy. Oh, and I'm back here, and I'll probably have to experience this little bridge dizziness thing again, but that's okay. And, and that's why I'm gonna sometimes just cut the video off at about 10 minutes instead of finishing the mission. What I did last time, I believe, was sit here and stand still and climb up. Yep. So. I wonder, will I get the dizziness again? What's yeah, here we go. What's happening to me? Guess I don't have to stop talking since you've probably already listened to this. But it seems I can't save manually. It seems I have to. It seems the game saves automatically at certain checkpoints. Because I've already passed this bridge in the last episode and just gotten off it before I ended. So luckily I'm not repeating too much at all. Damn it, I've got such a craving to drink a cup of tea that's in front of me, but I'm gonna refrain from it because I don't know. Probably not a good thing to get to get a habit of. While you're recording, you're just drinking everything that's in front of you. Oh, thank god my health just went down there because of that, or my health, I just noticed my health was slightly deteriorated because there's something that was kind of bugging me. It was the fact that the top left, fuck off Raheem, top left, the plus button, the plus meter is at one. And I don't even know what that means. I realize, of course, the heart is health, but what is the plus? I was thinking it might be armor, it might just be extra health that can come back while your initial health can't. But we'll find out soon enough. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, Talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Well, that's nice advice. So, disease that reminds you you have the disease. Pretty sure that's called a symptom. Well, enough of that. I don't really care anyway. What I want to do is get outside. I've been trapped in this friggin' building for three episodes. Oh, a nice little transition there. If it didn't lag, of course. Oh, that's right. A friend... That reminded me... me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Yes, a friend just told me to turn off my motion blur and it makes the game run a little smoother. Which I have to agree, because motion blur can really be graphics card intensive. So let's quickly just do that. It's going to be in video, right? Um, where is it? Motion blur? Off. Let's see what this is like. Hopefully it'll stop the lag. Oh, wow. This does feel smoother. Okay, and let's hope that'll stop the frequent lag, or at least reduce it a little. So, hello, Quartermaster. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days. Too late. Here, this is for you. By the way, <laughs> word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. 
Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, oh, his beard is fuzzy. If you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Well, thank you for the table lag, my good friend. I don't stock rusty adjustable wrench. Okay, guess I'll just take all this. Why not? I got a few metal parts earlier as well. Ah, oh, great. Do got to hit lag, but as I said in the last episode, they are fairly few and far between. It's not constant in any by any means. Got a shot of Amtazin from Doctor Zera. I, I, I forgot his name. Well, one minute. Let me find this guy. Ah, uh, here we are. Is he British? <laughs> oh, going outside. Huh? Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've oh. lost too many already. I can't tell if he's British or not. And here is what I've been waiting for. Okay, noob. You got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a Benton playing court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. Okay. Crane, kid. <laughs> all right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. Sure, sure, sure. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. That's nice. So how do I get into this place then? Do I climb the fence? It'd be nice if I could climb the fence. But no such luck. Um, okay, it seems I've taken an unnecessarily difficult route. No, not that way. Uh oh, run away. Anyway. Did I just parkour over the zombies? Oh god! Okay, run. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And here we go. Yay. Are you Doctor? No, he's not Doctor Zeta. He must be in here, right? Well, you could be a little nicer in your knocking. Anybody there? Damn it, Black. Are you there? Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both Antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague nice. trapped in Sector Zeta Zero, where the outbreak first Sorry for that. broke out. We've been collaborating via radio. Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. Hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Mm, he's my favorite character so far. Speed keeps you alive, so don't slow... Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. <laughs> so, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. 
Alright, let's start one real job and get a few minutes into it, I guess. Spike, I'm Crane. <sighs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. Alright, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antison, we are lost. That's Before you nice. head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Hmm, great. Hold or tap tab to change weapons and one to change equipment. Pipe, rusty adjusting wrench. May as well use up what's left of this pipe. If I'm if I'm allowed to take it out. But in this case, survival. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Next page. Um, search environment for huge locked chest left by all the survivors. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I get out of this page? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Alright. Rice, eh? We better curry. <laughs> I am very sorry. Well, for something to be up on the spot, it's still pretty terrible. Did he manage to hit me? Did he manage to hit me? <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh god, I thought it was after kick. I've forgotten how to kick. Oh no. Okay, die. Okay, that took care of him. Or her, I mean. Prepare a trap for Bracken's mission. I guess I'll prepare this trap and then finish out. Outside, I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. All right, we'll help the trapped survivor, and then I'll finish up. God, apparently, according to my friend, you need to do a couple of campaign missions before you unlock online mode, so I guess we'll have to do these missions then. Don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm just lagging. Oh Christ. So how exactly do I use firecrackers? I've got a feeling it's going to be F, but if I need to I can always just check the controls. The size of this damn place. Don't mind me. Why are they hearing me? I'm not, I'm not talking. Uh, I guess my running is all loud. Wee. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Wow, his stamina runs out fast. Does get back fast though. Weapon ineffective. Oh, for Christ! Never mind. Let's just switch to the wrench. <clears throat> Rich. Bitch. <laughs> okay. Not really shitty. It's a bitch too often. Chair. <laughs> Just need something else to say while I'm hitting these guys. Just wanna try out this fight a little, but I thought it'd be a bit harder than it was. Okay, never mind. Alcohol? Why oh, thank you. More metal parts. Why would why the hell could she be carrying metal parts? Open the door? Nah. Oh, I guess we will open the door. <laughs> Wait, what the 
You just need to pot the door. It's too late for this guy. Indeed. Okay, it's done. <laughs> it's not exactly what I had in mind. No choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, it's right in here, is it? Use where's that? Okay. Wow, that was simple. Oh, right. You unlock safe zones on the map. So oh, clever. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. They thought it was on the roof. Get onto the building's roof. Oh, right. Never mind. The eject is up here. This, is, this can be smooth when it wants to be. Well, there's a lot of debris, isn't there? Oh, wait, they're cranks. Oh. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. So your guy's a rat, eh? Well... Oh, well, I still like him. So, I hope you enjoyed episode 3 of my play about of Dying Light. I thank you for watching very much. I will be definitely doing a lot of these videos, preferably with friends. Thank you again for watching, and uh, bye!